it's Nissan, it's electric, it's an SUV, and it's cold. Welcome back to another video here at Cars Unlocked. I'm with the 2023 Nissan Aria, and this is Nissan's foray into the fully electric SUV market. This one has an MSRP of 64,998, and it's gonna compete with vehicles like the Ford Mach-E, Kia EV6, Tesla Model Y. Let's go through the ins and outs to help you determine if this is the electric vehicle to buy. Checking out the front end of the Aria. This one is in obviously the black. This is the Evolve Plus. So we're right in the middle of our six trim levels that Nissan's offering with the EV Plus. I mentioned the price, but make sure you check out any rebates that your government might be offering in your province or your state to save you some money when purchasing any electric vehicle. On the front end of the Aria here, we put the lights on because you do get these full nice LED headlights here. They have the high beam and the low beam auto leveling headlights and they're also automatic on off. You obviously get the full Nissan um, safety suite which gives you the automatic high beam assistant. And one thing that I really like and it's kind of hard to see on uh, a morning like today, but you have the illuminated brand new Nissan emblem. Looks really cool at night. Um, it lights up there while you're driving. There's no front grill, it's a flat kind of front grill here, and there is this pattern, which we're gonna see throughout the vehicle on the front grill, but no front grill because it's an electric car. And we have forward sensors as well. That's gonna help for parking. We have some functional air vents here that's just gonna let some air flow into your wheel wells. Let's jump on the inside, and you can use the remote starter to start the vehicle, or you can just jump in and push the button and start it all up. And you don't even hear it really start, but two monitors going on here. We have the 12.3 vehicle. Um, this is for all your radio, your navigation and things like that. And then we have another 12.3 advanced drive assist display. This is gonna show you like your kilometers to empty, all your vehicle information, your compass, and everything you need to see is right on the screen here while you're driving. So before we get really into the details about driving this thing, guys, make sure you guys like the video if you're learning something. Subscribe if you wanna see more Nissan reviews from my channel here, and comment what you guys think. How does the Aria stack up versus its competitors? You know, like I said, we got the Ford, we have the Ionic Q, we have the EV6, the Tesla Model Y, the Audi. So there's a lot more SUVs hitting this electric market. And I think Nissan's done really well with it, how it drives here. Um, super quiet, just like the Leaf. Obviously every electric car is very quiet. Tons of tech, and this isn't even the top model here. I can't wait to get my hands on the Platinum package here, but we're gonna go over the speed bump here pretty quick and uh, let's see how it takes the bump. Suspension is really good. Like it feels like I'm driving like a uh, in between a Rogue and a Murano. Um, that's what it kind of feels like. Let's check out the side profile. This one being the Evolve Plus, you get these 19 inch uh, steel wheels here. You have these kind of different covers here. Um, you don't need alloy rims on the electric car, but you do get these steel covers on here. All season tires. This specific one is front wheel drive. If you want to get the all wheel drive, you would go up to the higher packages here. Now, when you jump on the inside of the Aria, the interior looks nothing like you've seen on any of the other Nissans. And it does remind me of some of the competitors' electric vehicles here. I love this wood trim that they have kind of all throughout. And then they have this sort of pattern here, this kind of grid-like pattern that's all throughout in different places around the car, which kind of just adds to the look of the vehicle. There's a ton of technology. You get the full Nissan safety suite, you get the lane departure warning, you get the blind spot warning, the forward uh, emergency brakes, you get the rear emergency brakes, the pro pilot assist really helps on long drives, and it does have a zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds, sorry, zero to 100 in 7.2 seconds, so um, it does take off pretty good. Like, I was surprised when I saw the specs when they first released this, how much horsepower that they can get out of this thing. 
on our mirrors, you do have power folding mirrors and you have the LED turn signals. It's a digital Nissan around view monitor. So there's a camera in all the mirrors and on the front and the back to give you the full around view monitor when you're parking. You do have the approach lock and unlock. So when the key's in your pocket, you can just approach the door and it's gonna unlock. Different from traditional Nissans that have the button that you press. So really cool, more innovation coming from Nissan. And look at the curvature on the Aria. It curves all the way to the back. And I mentioned this in the 370 here, you kind of have this nice little katana style here, separating the roof from the body. And you can get this in a two-tone roof, this one obviously being the matching black, but in the higher models, you can get the two-tone roof. Our heating controls are digital, and they're kind of right built into this uh, wood trim here, which is right here, which is pretty neat. Um, and then it flows all the way up to the dual touch screens and we have this center console and it's kind of like an electric powered center console which you can move just with the buttons here which is pretty cool the shifter tiny little shifter similar to what we've seen in the leaf and the new nissan rogues which you can kind of just shift and push the button to park we have two cup holders here you can cover those up too and then we have our controls for our different drive modes, which we're gonna test out when we go for a drive. Wireless charging as well is right in the center stack there. So you just pop your phone on there and it will charge up. And then when you close it, it will lock your phone in there. One thing I always wanna test out with these electric cars is this pedal here. So they have the E-Step pedal, a little different from the E-pedal in the Leaf, but it's very, very similar. And basically you can maximize your fuel efficiency and you can kind of drive um, just with one pedal here. So if I want to slow down, it's hard to tell here, but I just kind of take my foot off the gas a little bit and it will come basically to a complete stop without me putting my foot uh, on the brake here. So pretty neat using the one pedal and it will just use your regenerative um, braking to help put more power and just give your maximize your efficiency of the battery. So I really like that. The heads up display is one thing that they, they really talk about. Um, that's pretty neat. It's a colored heads up display. It's not like too much in your face, but it's there and I can see it pretty good. So that's great. And I just love how everything is set up here. I love the wheel, um, the nice D-shaped wheel. I love how Nissan's putting this D-shaped wheel I think they should put a D-shaped wheel in every vehicle. So comment below what you guys think about the wheel. Obviously when you buy an electric car, the first thing you wanna know about is the range and the charging and the engine. So let's take a look here. No frunk on this one. The engine is right under the hood, separating it from its competitors. And this one is the higher package here. 238 horsepower and 221 pounds feet of torque. So a little more than our Nissan Rogue, a little less than our Murano at 260. It's a 91 kilowatt lithium ion battery and it does come with the liquid cooling, regenerative braking with the E-Step and you have a 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger. In terms of range, phenomenal range with this one, 465 kilometers of range. Now, if you connect to a charging station, you can charge from zero to 80 in about 40 minutes, which is really neat if you're on the go. Um, that's using that fast charge station. If you wanna plug into your regular charging like you would at home, it's gonna take you from zero to full approximately about 14 hours. Now, you also have the accessory just to plug into a regular outlet. That's gonna be your longest option, but you have that option in a pinch. Let's check that out. Everything flows right to the back here, and we do have our tail lights that flow all the way across the trunk here, right above this Nissan emblem. Of course, we have a backup camera and rear parking sensors. This one comes with our Evolve Plus badging and obviously our Aria badging. So whichever one you choose is gonna come with the trim level written on the badge there, no matter which package. Now there's no kick lift gate on this one, so you do get the power lift gate but it's not motion activated. Now we put all our stuff in here so you can see the space. We got all of our gear in here, 22.8 cubic feet of cargo capacity in the Aria. You got a little bit of hidden storage underneath. Obviously it's gonna come with all the charging equipment here for you to charge and that could just tuck away down there. 
Now, the only kind of beef that I have with this tunnel cover folding down the back seats, it's not like you can kind of reach through there. You do have to come around the side and fold the back seats down. I like to be able to open the trunk, reach through. Um, some of the other Nissans have levers and you would think that they would put that in the Aria, but it does fold to a pretty flat storage area here. Obviously you can remove this, so it's not a big complaint, but lots of trunk space in the back for an electric SUV. Talking about the touch screen here, First things first, let's check out the camera. Super large, like I said, it's a digital around view monitor here. Now it's showing the front angle, and then if we flip it, you can see the parallel view. There's our side view. And once I put it in reverse, it's gonna automatically jump to the backup camera, which is pretty cool there. So a couple different views for the camera angle. And then when we go home here, this is what we got going on here. We have our navigation GPS, we have our homepage, our Bluetooth here, and pretty fluid when you swipe through, um, nice and smooth. The other Nissans are a little slower when you swipe through, so they definitely up the quality on this touchscreen. I love the Alexa built in. Um, you can use Alexa to make your commands here, or you can use the Nissan voice commands by pushing the, the touchscreen button here and you can call, navigate, change your station, or control the temperature, uh, the climate controls. Speaking of temperature controls, they can do that either, like I said, down below, or look at this, it's right on the touch screen here, where you can control all your temperature. You have your heated wheel, you have your cooled seats, and you have your heated seats. You can control the rear heating as well. You have rear heated seats in the back as well. So a ton of features on this Evolve Plus edition here. You can do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but you also have the built-in navigation, which I love. And what do we got on here? Country. We were just told that country is the most popular genre in North America. Comment if you like country. Trust me. This one comes with the upgraded sound system. 10 Bose audio sound speakers come on this Evolve Plus edition. So it does sound pretty good with the acoustics. Now with this Evolve Plus, you get this massive sunroof. We've seen this before in like our Nissan Rogues. It's um, the full panoramic moonroof, comes with the automatic cover. And then obviously just this front one's gonna open up to your uh, environment. You also get your universal garage door opener. So it's not in the mirror anymore. It's right into our roof here. And you can sync up to three garage doors. I have a full tutorial of how to sync your garage door on my channel, which I'll put the link in the description below. Seats are comfortable, that's another thing. Um, certainly feel very comfortable in the seats. Obviously we have the heated seats today. It's uh, what, minus seven right now. So the heated seats are clutch. But uh, yeah, look at that. We don't even need to use the brake if we're using this E-Step pedal. So this one being the Evolve Plus, you do get this kind of mix of leather and cloth. It's not like a traditional cloth insert. It's almost like a suede insert, um, but it's like a leatherette with a cloth insert, not full leather, but it does look nice. I have to see how good it is for keeping it clean. Now back here with the curvature of the roof, my headroom is still okay. I'm 5'9", my knee room is fine. I do like, obviously being an electric car, there's no hump right here. Now the leaf has a big hump because the battery is underneath, but this one is nice and flat. So if you have three passengers in here, it might be a little tight, but boom, look at that. That electric center console can move forward and create a little more space if you have three people in the back. Hard seat backs, which is pretty good if you have kids. And then you have the heated seats and a USB and a lightning USB to charge. Cup holders, center armrests. There's a cup holder in each door. So overall, the back is pretty impressive. This is a little off. Like you have these little covers here to hide your anchors. Um, it looks okay, but I can see that in time kind of fraying a little bit or curling up here if you, uh, you have a lot of use of the back seat. Let's try this sport mode and see how it accelerates out of the, the light here. Coming out of the turn. Not too bad. Pretty quiet acceleration too, and there's not a lot of road noise, which is uh, a big bonus. 
with these cars. Overall, my driving, I like the Nissan Aria. I feel like for the price, like the price is steep, but you're paying that higher price for the gas savings. Obviously, you never have to get gas. You never have to do an oil change. Um, so there's a ton of bonuses to paying the higher price in the long run. You guys tell me what you guys think. Are electric cars the future or are we gonna be still using gas cars 10, 15 years from now? This is certainly a step in the right direction. So that's a wrap guys. Cars Unlocked bringing you the Nissan Aria. If you guys learned something today or we helped you with your buying experience, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be talking about this car for a while because I feel like it's gonna be a staple now in the electric SUV market. Definitely sets it apart from its competitors. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about it. Are you guys eyeing electric vehicles or are you still on gas? Does this level out to the Tesla Model Y? Is it better than the Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq Q? You guys tell me what you think. Has Nissan knocked it out of the park or is it just another blah electric SUV? Comment below and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.